Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, August 28th. The 28th day of August. Got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. We are on our way to work. And I picked up some girl last night. I don't even know where she came from. But I picked her up and I let her stay the night because I felt sorry for her because she was just standing on the side of the road like a little homeless child. I had a box. Oh yeah, she did have a little box. So we let her bring the box and then now Rand take her and put her back where she belongs with her box, with an extra box. So now she has a two bedroom box house instead Yay. of a one bedroom. <laughs> no, we got Desi. That's my niece, Desi. I'm awesome. And then when we get home, I think I'm gonna cook dinner. Excuse me. I'm gonna cook dinner and then um, I will. Uh, check the pool because I asked Jeffrey to vacuum it yesterday and I don't think he ever did. So he needs to do it today. And if he don't do it today, he's gonna hear it from me because he's the one that wanted to keep the pool. So he was supposed to be responsible for it. So we'll see. And then um, we are, uh, gonna work on Ralphie's room excuse me today me and grandma's supposed to be bringing Ralphie home sometime today so. good afternoon everybody it's Sunday afternoon I just woke up I'm getting ready to get in the shower here in a little bit mom and Aunt Shirley are down on their way down here with Ralphie to bring him home from the weekend up there so they should be here any minute so I'll probably get in the shower after they get here and I have this pimple under my no eyeball, right here under my eyelid, up in here, above my eyelid. It's driving me crazy. And I can't get it to pop either because it can't, it doesn't form a head. It won't form a head, it's just sitting there, sitting there. Anyway, so yeah. And then, uh, it's my last day of work and I'm off for nine days. I'm so ready for a break. This overnight thing is kind of wearing me out, maybe. I'm kind of afraid to take a break though because I'm hoping when I go back in nine days it's not harder to go back because I've been off. But I'm, I, I want a break though because it's been hard for me adjusting to it at the same time. So we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so... Bye Miss Mary. Off work. And... So you're headed home. And I was gonna do a bunch of stuff at home today but... Then my brother uh, calls and says, hey, wanna meet at sister's house and have runzins tonight? And I was like, uh, what stuff do I need to do today? Nothing. Cause I love runzins. So that's the plan. So I don't know when Ralphie's coming home or whatever, but dinner's at six, you better be there. Or he's gonna have to find a babysitter. I want my runs and so it <laughs> excuse me uh, so that's about it it's funny when you're vlogging people stare at you they're like what the hell is that dude doing don't worry I just think I'm so sexy and hot I just record myself all the time I saw my teacher at Citrus. What? I saw Miss Mary at Citrus. I read my special reading class that I don't have to be in. I don't have to be in. So, it was really nice out too. I like it. It's like 91 out today. So, anyways, that's what's going on today. Ralphie's home. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Yeah. 
Did you miss him now? Yeah. Did you want to come you home? Too. Yeah. <laughs> good. Glad you have a good time. What's what that you... thing right on your <laughs> eye? <laughs> I just talked about that in the vlog. It's a pimple. I have a pimple on my eyeball. Right above my eyeball. Oh. Did you tell him about making a new friend? Oh yeah. His name was Chase. Yeah. And I want to go there again. Go back up and see him again. Every time he comes to my house now, guess what? Grandma, can I go to Chase's? Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, and I'm like, hmm, it's going to be taken away from the grandma time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he has that. Yeah, I'll Chase. Yes. Yeah. Really? So mom got Ralphie some allergy medicine because his allergies are acting bad. What'd you get? I got him Children's Zyrtec. The pharmacy lady said that it was very good. You take one every 24 hours. And so it's supposed to be really good. Um, then I brought up Flonase No Spray, Children's No Spray. And she said yes, but they didn't have any. So I went to Walgreens and I got them, I got him Walgreens. And it's the generic yeah. of Flonase, but it's the exact same thing. And hmm. the pharmacy lady said, yeah, same, same thing. Because poor old Ralphie, he woke up in the night, kept going, <clears throat> kept making this noise, and and then he'd sit up in bed, he couldn't breathe, and then he kept rubbing his nose. Both him and Marco's allergies do that, but it's mostly at, for some reason at night and in the mornings. It's not so much at all during the day. It's yeah. weird. It, well, she said because when they lay down, yeah. that makes it something about the stop. It gets mm -hmm. him stopped up. Poor little guy. Anyway, so then we were up from like um, 3.30 till like 20 after 4. And I put a little com a warm compress on his nose. Gave him just a little bit of uh, an allergy pill. He fell asleep in the chair. I uh, took him back to bed and he slept till 10 till 11. So really? we didn't get to go to church today. Wow. That's okay. I just I I felt bad for him so he was having a rough night. And I have hay fever, so. And Brett had hay fever. And Highland. No, I said I wanted to race my car. My other son had hay fever, so it was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Mom left with Aunt Shirley. Dropped Ralphie off. He had a really, really good time with Grandma this weekend. I will insert some pictures of his weekend with Grandma right here. <laughs> So he had so much fun, he said he didn't want to come home. <laughs> he wants to stay back up there and he made a new friend across the street, so he was happy about that, so. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab me something to eat and try to edit yesterday's vlog uh, before I head to work. And Brad went with the boys to eat uh, dinner with his stepmom and his brother and them. So uh, they already left, they're out there now, but I didn't have time to go because I had to go to work. Okay, so I got the front yard mowed, part of the backyard, and then I had to go get ready to go to my sister's for dinner. And look, Ralphie's back home. So, he said he didn't have any fun at Grandma's house. I did! <laughs> I'll be going there next week. So, um, we're gonna go eat and, uh, then go back home and then the kids have to go to bed. Cause it's a school night. School tomorrow. Say so yay. yay. Marco say yay. No. I said say yay. Yay. There we go. More enthusiastic. <laughs> Act like you like it. I do, but I don't. Anywho. 
like all I do is vlog in the truck. <laughs> Does it seem like all I do is vlog in the truck? So anyways, I had to call my brother and tell him that we were going to be a little late. Jeffrey's blood sugar dropped and he started being all to have... If it gets too low, he has seizures and we have to get him to the hospital. And so he was all shaken and his eyes were looking all funky. So I had to get him some food and stuff and get him all right before I could leave the house. He hasn't done that in a really long time. He usually is pretty good at it and I don't know what, I don't know if he just didn't eat much today or what, but he tries to do this stupid diet thing because you know he lifts weight and health nut and I think he is probably just on too many days of the diet of detoxing or whatever you call it or whatever so I think that's what a lot of it is so I got him all right told Brett to check on him before he left and when he got out of the shower to check on him make sure he was okay I said if he's having a seizure just call 911 but he was doing pretty good when I left so and then my sister Christy's gonna call him here in a minute and check on him and if she can't get a hold of him of course she'll call Brett and have Brett go check on him because he's at the house so and and I was a good brother and I let Ralphie play Minecraft with me so I taught him the basics he doesn't know a lot yet yeah I know so, he's teaching me and we so, play Yeah, he has 13 kills and one got four. So, next is to teach my dad. <laughs> well, if one has to learn, all you'll have to learn. <laughs> so, so after that, then, so tomorrow, I don't know, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. School. So, After school. I cannot get shooting games down or like, a, you know, the football games on there. I can't get that down. I can play baseball on there and different things like that. But the other, I think it's because I'm not into it. I like football, but I don't like playing it on a game system. Baseball is pretty fun. Um, golf I've done stuff like that but the oh, shooting yeah. games and all that you like playing that zoo game the zoo game zoo tycoon I like and the sims I can't find sims no, there is not a sims game for xbox one and I'm mad oh yeah and I'm about to get rid of my xbox one and get me a playstation so I can get the sims because and, I love uh, the sims the race car game the race car game the Marco plays yeah, I'll play the race car game too. You don't play it a lot though. Last time I had the Sims game, it was very bad when I had a PlayStation because I'd stay up till 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning playing it and not get any sleep because I'm so addicted to it. So anyways, it's time to go get some runzits. All right, so I ate dinner and I just finished editing yesterday's vlog and now I have to leave for work here. But it's my last night and I'm on vacation. Can you tell I'm excited about that? I'm ready for a few days off, so. All right, so I'm off to okay, work. So we're at my sister Heather's and Aaliyah has Bentley. Say hi, Bentley. Say hi, Bentley. <laughs> say hi, Bentley. Say hi, Bentley. Say hi, yet. Wave. Ah. Say, what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Here, take a picture of us. There you go. So here they are. They're done. It's been 10 years since mom's made these. No, it has not. <laughs> Three years. Mm. Three years, Bradley. Mm. We'll take this pan home. Bullshit. <laughs> here, here, here. Hey, here's Robbie. Excuse me? There. I said bullshit. Hey, here's Robbie. There's Marcos. You're Bradley's, whatever. Mm. My bun, my bread went together. 
Daniel and my dad and I would fight for the last one when dad was around. We loved these things. Right? <laughs> Looky, I'm holding Bentley. Mom is over there. Oh, he's mad. Look, he's getting mad. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Uncle Dan messing with Aaliyah. Why don't you love me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> you want some? I'm not scared. Stop! Leave me alone! Nanny! <laughs> Nanny. Nanny's got the baby. So? The new favorite. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> serious girl. Pick on somebody in her own size. <laughs> yeah, go pick on someone smaller. <laughs> oh, he's turned to a bull. No. <laughs> I'm not the water. Hey, you're gonna do it. Make sure you aim it good. No, Mark. You're gonna, you're gonna clean it up. <laughs> okay, guys. So it's bedtime, and I just want to touch base on this whole military school thing. Number one, no one sees the bad side of Marco and the things he does but we could start showing it if you want and number two I just want to say there's no discipline that affects him because all of his life he has lost everything so he's used to losing everything so there's no more discipline we can do because you take things away he don't care you take his cell phone away, he don't care. You take TV away, he don't care. You take PlayStation away, he don't care. He doesn't care because he's used to losing everything. So, to earn the respect that we should get and to, and for him to learn that he needs to do his schoolwork and not make an F six days into the school day or school year and get an attitude with the teacher that's not cool either and he needs to learn to respect other adults and military school is not a bad thing it just teaches kids to respect others it teaches them responsibility it teaches them how to grow the correct way and it gives them the correct discipline. So we've tried all options. All options. Nothing's working. He looks at you and says, hmm, I don't care. I mean, he just don't care. He don't. Like you tell him he's grounded. He can't go out with his friends. He don't care. He doesn't do anything with friends anyways. Except for the kids in the neighborhood and, he, and the ones that he played with the most moved away so so it's no big deal to him so no matter I mean no matter what we do it doesn't work so the only other option is like a boys home or military school or something like that so we've tried therapy it's not working so Try another thing, see if it works. If it don't work, then it don't work. So, I'm just saying, I'm just touching base. I'm just saying, you guys don't see the stuff that we go through. The attitude we get, the disrespect we get. Don't get me wrong. He can be a perfectly good kid, but he just don't care about important things and he disrespects us a lot. And then when you discipline him, it's like no big deal. So I'm just clearing it up and I'm just saying. So other than that, we had a good night at my sister's. His cat scratched the crap out of my arm earlier. 
So, and I'm not saying we're going to put him in there for sure. We're going to go check things out and see what we think. And maybe after he sees we're serious and we're not messing around, maybe he will straighten up when he sees what it's all about. So, we'll see. So, anyways, we will see you tomorrow. <sighs> Good night, y'all. Okay, so I'm home from work and I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. Nine days off. Nine days off of being without having to go in at night. It's going to be so nice. So, I am getting ready to head to bed. I just had me a few little muffins here. My uh, partner I work with at work, she made these little muffins. They were, um, they had like raspberries and blueberries in there. They were really good. So I had some of those for breakfast. And then um, I'm thinking, you guys, I'm thinking about cutting my hair again. I'm thinking of maybe like doing some kind of buzz cut, kind of like that. Just buzz it on the top or kind of like this. It's kind of the same thing. Just real short like that on the top. I don't know. I'm nervous to do that. I'm so afraid. I'm going to regret doing that. Because my hair is long, you know, it's long on the top. But like if I buzzed it off, it won't be anything anymore up there. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. If I do it, I'm just going to do it and not even think about it. Tell Brad, just buzz my hair off. Don't let me even second guess it so I won't change my mind. Maybe I might do that today. Maybe, I don't know. I might chicken out. We'll see. What do y'all think? I know I've asked this question before. I go through spurts where I think I want to cut my hair and then I say, no, I don't think I do. But, I don't know. Anyway, so, I'm going to head to bed, so can get up and get my vacation started so thanks for watching please comment thumbs up subscribe if you're new and we'll see you all tomorrow for vlogus day 29 good night